So let's start with server analysis. I'm kind of working backwards from this a little bit, but the server analysis is pretty important because it's one of those things that I honestly feel is missed. So when you get started in computer security, everyone's all about the operating systems, right? Operating systems are cool. We're gonna talk about Windows. How do we secure Windows? How do we lock down Windows? How do we lock down Linux? How, how, how do we secure these things? Okay, so a little bit of backstory on that. So years ago, back in 2000, 99 timeframe, those operating systems were Swiss cheese, like by default, they were bad. And there were a bunch of guides that came out. SANS released a hardening guide on how to harden Windows Server 2000 and how to harden Linux, uh, Red Hat Linux and things like that. And that was necessary back then. Today, many of the operating systems that we have, they come with a lot of the security features locked down by default because they don't want to get in trouble for basically releasing an operating system that is insecure. And the trouble with this is everyone got so focused in trying to lock down operating systems that we still see a lot of people fighting that exact same battle. Like, how do I lock down and secure a Windows system? That's irrelevant, okay? It is. You keep your Windows systems patched, keep them up to date. Uh, I think there's a remote, that's not a zero day, but the uh, bad neighbors IPv6 DNS uh, vulnerability came out. We're seeing those types of remote exploits are incredibly, incredibly rare. And most of the time, whenever an operating system is exploited, it's exploited through an application or service that's running on that server. So let me explain. So whenever we're looking at servers, uh, key points that we need to be looking at are the processes, users, network connections, open ports, and logs. Now, what's interesting about this is people mistakenly attribute me whenever I say processes, users, network connections, open ports, and logs, they automatically get into that operating system mindset. What processes is this particular application using on the operating system? What users does it have on the operating system? And that's not what I'm talking about. here. Instead, what I'm talking about are what are the processes and services that start up within the application itself? What are the users in the application itself? What are the network connections that this particular application makes? And what open ports does it normally associate with popping it open? So let me give you an example. If we do Apache, right? What are the services? You got the HTTPD process, right? What are the users? What are the user configs? The network connections. You might have lots of inbound network connections, but very few outbound network connections. You can start doing that analysis on that application, on that server that is running. This is different than actually looking at the operating system itself. So we're looking at all these to the server processes. And this also becomes incredibly important when you start looking at cloud security, because these processes, these users, these network connections, these ports, it gets a lot more difficult to cleanly identify them when you're dealing with a cloud-based app. But they are still the same questions that we have to ask about these particular servers as well.